Our team has developed a magnetic endoscopy platform with diagnostic and therapeutic capabilities for colon exploration. The platform consists of a magnetic flexible endoscope and a robotic arm with an actuating magnet. The endoscope is composed of a 21 millimeter by 18 millimeter head, a highly compliant sleeve, and a 6.5 millimeter diameter flexible tether. The head contains a camera module, a therapeutic channel, a light source, capability for irrigation, lens cleaning and insufflation port, and a 1.4 Tesla embedded permanent magnet along with circuitry that includes magnetic field sensors and an inertial measurement unit. The tether serves as a mechanism for running electrical wiring and channels. The actuating magnet is manipulated in six degrees of freedom by a serial robotic arm. Knowledge of the residual flux density and geometry of the actuating permanent magnet as well as proprioceptive sensing in the head are utilized via a localization algorithm to obtain both the position and orientation or pose of the endoscope's tip. Knowledge of the pose of the external permanent magnet and actuating magnet allow for estimating the applied magnetic force and torque. Thus, we are able to compute the motions of the actuating magnet that are necessary to induce a desired force and torque upon the endoscope's tip to produce a desired endoscope motion. Using this information, we can implement autonomy into our system for ease of use and to overcome repetitive or technically challenging tasks. Here, we demonstrate autonomous retroflexion in an in vivo porcine colon in real time at the push of a button by the endoscopist. This is similar to the autopilot feature utilized in air and automobile travel. The maneuver was successful in all 30 trials and there were no adverse events. Shown here are the paths followed by the endoscope's tip and the actuating magnet. The unique trajectories demonstrate that our system was operating under full autonomy and not following a predefined path. Here we see the view from the onboard camera during autonomous retroflexion. Biopsy forceps can also be passed for use in the retroflex position. Other therapies can be performed with the magnetic flexible endoscope. In the upper panes, we demonstrate cold snare polypectomy. In the lower left, we see use of cold biopsy forceps. And in the lower right, we see successful placement of a hemostatic clip. In summary, this is the first time that a magnetic endoscope has been autonomously controlled in vivo in a reliable, efficient, and safe manner. Our findings suggest promise in the use of autonomy to assist in endoscopic tasks and in magnetic actuation of endoscopic devices and instruments.